Hello everyone, welcome all of you in Final Analyst. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom pop-up, something look like this. So for creating this type of pop-up, first of all, come to your system.io dashboards and then first of all, drag your button here. So I'm going to drag the button element on here and click the button. So I'm going to change the button text first. So from here, change the button text. And then from here, change the font. So I'm going to choose Google fonts and from here, I'm going to choose pop-ins. And I don't need any subtext, so remove the subtext from here. And here, the color is fine, but I don't need any border color, so I'm going to remove the border color. And let's the rounded corner into 10 pixel from all of the corners. The button is look like fine. Now I want when someone click on this button, this type of pop up should appear. So click the button first, and from here. Uh, you need to change the actions button so here send from and click and click show pop-up now from here we need to uh, select a pop-up so see I have a, a pop-up created but in your case you maybe don't have any pop-up because you didn't create any pop-up earlier so for creating a pop-up click on pop-up see this is the pop-up I have created earlier so let's delete this pop-up first let's create a pop-up from scratch from first so click add pop-up now this is the text create your free account just copy the text and here paste the text so i need to change the font so for changing the font from here change the font name so i'm going to choose it poppins and let's make the text color into pure black so from here text color make it black then here enter your email address so we need to change the placeholder text and we also need to change the font size so from here make the font size into 25 pixel now click on the email and from here change the placeholder text so from here just placeholder right down here enter your email address now let's create this button get my uh, free account so click the button and from here rename the button text into get my free account and make the font into poppins and remove the subtext Make the rounded corners into 12, uh, 10 pixel from all of the corners and remove the border color. And on the letter, we don't need this text, so we can delete this one. So just uh, hover your mou uh, mouse pointer on here and then click delete icon. And this will delete. So our pop up has been created. Now let's say you need to add another field like uh, first name. So how can you add that? So for adding another field, it could be anything first name last name password or anything you want to collect from your users so uh, just scroll down below and here you can see form input just drag the element where you want now it's on first now click click on here and from here from the left side you can uh, see select a type from here select first name now it's in the first name input field so this way if you need any another one then just uh, uh, drag the element and from here choose the input type you can choose any of from here so this one i don't need this one right now so i will just delete it so this is the uh, pop-up we have created and if we going to see it on full screen mode then it's going to be look like something this so we have successfully created our pop-up now let's see it in live so click on save changes and click on a view preview and see if we scroll down below then the pop-up is automatically showing up but we don't want to show this pop-up automatically so how to turn off the automatic showing setting so click on edit pop-up setting and from here you can see open pop-up automatically just make it turn off and now if we click on save changes and if you click on uh, preview again then see this time this pop-up didn't showing automatically now just uh, click on pop-up to exit the pop-up and now click the button first and then from here select pop-up now choose the pop-up that we have created just now now click on save changes now if you see the preview and now if someone click on here then the pop-up will be appear the pop-up is something look like this that we showed on system.io website now see here we don't have any options to close the pop-up so how can we add the close button like this so for adding that just come to your uh, system.io dashboard again then click on pop-ups and here uh, click this eye icon and now click on uh, edit pop-up settings here you can see show close buttons uh, make it on and now we can see the uh, 
close buttons you can add also delay after one or two seconds later this uh, close icon will be show we don't need that so this is fine now click on save changes and click on this uh, preview buttons and see if you click on here then this pop-up is appear and we have the close button so that's it this way you can create a custom pop-up in your system.io so now when someone enter his email address and click this button that time we want to move him on the thank you page on the next page so how can we do that so click the button and from here uh, to a custom url so we uh, we don't uh, do that we want to send them to the next step so our next step is the thank you page so when someone uh, enter his email address here and click on get my free account then they will enter the thank you page or the next page or whatever page you want to send them so let's try it click on save changes and uh, close the close this one and let's exit the dashboards and now let's see the view final so you can see here our next step is thank you page so when someone uh, enter his email address and click on get my free account then they will enter the thank you page see click on here and write let's write this email and click on get my free account and see uh, it automatically move on the thank you thank you page and now if if we click on leads then we can see the email here that we have just collect so that is a uh, for this particular video i hope you guys learned something new and i will try to make more valuable videos like this in this channel